All right. Probably. Yeah. Skype has been sufficiently muted. What? Don't. And we're live. What? Don't. So, we... I can't hear. And anything. we're live. Oh, we're really, really quiet. So, I can't hear. And anything. we're live. Oh, we're really, really quiet. We're gonna get double audio for. So, yeah, I, I heard that live. too. Oh, we're really, really quiet. Fucking. Cr uh. Skype is the worst. Zoom is fourteen ninety nine a month, and I'm looking at it. I'm like, mm. <laughs> you telling me I can have a solution to this bullshit? <laughs> is it just me, or are we? We're, like, it sounds really quiet to me on the stream. Uh, I can listen to it and find out. Like I'm about half volume, and I can barely hear us. Uh, Usually, we're like decent volume when I'm at I'll half. Find out. Like I'm about half volume and I can barely hear us. Uh, Usually we're like. I I, I heard a, song, but. Uh, I mean, recording wise, we're. I mean, when I got a little loud, it peaked a little bit, but we're about. I don't so know. is the output to Discord not? I'm sorry, the output to um, OBS fine. Yeah, it's all maxed out. Yeah, we're we're say something so I can see how you're peaking. Saying something so you can see how I'm peaking. You're yeah, you're good. That sounds awkward. <laughs> I'll boost you to one ten, but no, I think okay, between us, I, like we sound the right. Like, let me restart Twitch. Yeah, it sounds better now. So something was not right with my whatever. It's the dinosaur's curse. I mean, technically we were doing that better. We weren't doing anything else really. Just We need more we people. only got like another two attempts at this after tonight. <laughs> Did you say we just have two attempts at this? Yeah. Oh, God. Because, I mean, two more attempts and then we're at episode 50. And episode 50, we can't mess that one up. We can't. You're right. That's, that's going to be all new. Uh... This is 47 tonight? Yeah, dude, we're three episodes away. That's... Okay, so it's the 19th, 20th weekend. That should be fine. Let's see. 48, 49. If we do it that weekend, yes. But I was also thinking, oh, yeah, that's probably. <laughs> it's rather the 19th, 20th weekend? Because what, the 26th, 27th year? No, the twelfth, thirteenth. I'm out. Oh, okay. Well, all right. So if we do it that weekend, we have to just make sure we do it. We have to like watch for Phoenix Down Radio. <laughs> so rather, we got to go on before Phoenix Down Radio or after Phoenix Down Radio. Yeah. So we got to take into consideration of that. Oh God, those dinosaurs are way too disturbing. Hi, Miss Vader. I don't know who Miss Vader is, but. I'm assuming Miss Vader falls is on Twitter because that's a very specific. No, nope. I might have sent a link earlier. God damn it! Wee! <laughs> the power of rice compels you. 
I don't think she got that far through. But, yeah. It's, it's, it's stupid good. It's, well, I just, <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I'm laughing because it's one of the only times where he's like, can we get this on the soundboard? It was worth it. It was soundboard worthy. It's so good. We should probably start something. Whatever we're doing tonight, we should probably start. We don't have notes right now, but news-wise, we have what? Uh, as I reload the loads down. Uh, uh, there's a calling time uh, this week. Yep. There's oh. winners of a contest. Oh, that's it. Carbonized matter prices. Uh, we talked about that already. Yeah, I think I thought there was some um, community news this week too. Was there community news? Oh, for us. Uh, uh we got um our things approved. Oh uh, yeah, our our community news. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, also, uh, I I got to I got to talk about it. But I'll talk about Johnny it. Falcon. That, yeah, we should talk about that. Definitely put myself in the dashboard so I can. Easily manage. And Twitch is batting a thousand. Everything's batting a thousand. There's Toad Rogue. Hey, you can use all of them on the Maelstrom account, right? Yeah, I can use them. I really want a Toad Rogue. It's the greatest, the greatest one of them all. <laughs> Great King Moogle Spud. There's like a weird, weird disconnect because it's like, how, how egotistical are you? Let's well, put my face on one, I guess. But then it's really like, I'm making the fun of myself because I'm really just a Moogle potato thing. It's because I, I take the hits, <laughs> take the hits and keep rolling. All right, I guess we should, I guess we should start this. Something, something of that nature. And <clears throat> I guess let me get this up and Maelstrom Radio. With your host, Flatus and Shinder. And welcome everybody to Maelstrom Radio. My name is Flatus. With me, as always, today I did actually phone in. Oh, that's great.
Uh, are we having we're having audio issues. Yeah, no, Obi. Oh my god, what is going? On? Listen, I don't know what's going on. Everything's everything's getting fucked right now. <laughs> apparently. Uh, all right, is that better? Oh, I can hear, I can hear audio again. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, like I could, just... apparently... Oh, now I can't hear you. Zap. Oh, there okay. This is just a mm -hmm. great way to start the show. I'm just going to leave that up. <laughs> I'm going to just leave OBS up. Apparently OBS. I can't even click on other screen. I click on other screen. Hello? Can... All right, you still can hear me, yeah, I think. I think you can. Don't know what's going on. Good. All right. Well... Stream seems to be able to hear you, so we're better than we were a minute ago. You know what? It's okay. I lost 30 pounds already on my diet, so... <laughs> fuck fuck to everything. episode 47. Skype yeah. is terrible, and... Uh, everything else fucks up. <laughs> yeah, Skype sucks. Everything sucks. Apparently, we need to spend money to make this work. <laughs> so, we know. Dear Discord, please get cameras. <laughs> Please. Love. They're working I, on it soon. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. They've been saying soon since last year. <laughs> hey, it'll still release before uh, EQ Next will. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm let's sorry. Dig, let's dig up that old old joke dinosaur, I guess. It's not, it's not great. So we do have news this week. Yeah, it's we got something. <laughs> really fun this fucking episode it's so good it's probably be one of our funniest episodes hi paul all right so this week we have uh announcing the winners of the and action screenshot contest uh so there was a big screenshot contest a lot of people a lot more than normal uh i'm kind of shocked <laughs> uh so uh the grand prize winners were shadow novus uh he did this awesome uh, i mean we'll, we'll link it in chat uh shin if you want to throw them a link so they can kind of see the pictures and know what they're talking about and we'll have it somewhere on our there yeah. and uh so it's on the uh it's of course it's on the lodestone you can go, go find this right there uh it's um shadow novice had this amazing picture of them jumping as a samurai towards rama uh clearly some of these folks are using uh sweet effects because i don't think you can get some of those colors normally in game <laughs> just saying uh glacial rose with uh casting something i'm not sure what but uh looks great and uh it looks black magey it does look black magey also look at the render on their hand that looks like a human hand <laughs> there's no jaggies on the hand that looks pretty good uh and then zerichel with uh i guess doing their third uh the Limerick three uh as a melee so and the runner is up is there anybody it is a big sword. It's very, very much Final Fantasy VII. That's, uh, yeah. That's I don't like think a there's cloud sword, but a small version. Yeah, tiny cloud. <laughs> uh, and I don't think there was anybody we know that was in here that I saw. I don't think there's anybody that I saw that we knew in the. I don't recognize set. any of the names, but I also don't know uh, forum names with Twitter names or in game True. names. True. Although Doomfish hit me up. That's a great name. Doomfish. It's funny. You know, I've been told in the last couple of weeks that I have a like a ba like a deep and manly voice, and I'm like, I don't. What? That is not true. That is not true. Hello. I don't know. My... I've just been told that you're pure and innocent. I'm. I am a pure and innocent boy. That's true. It's totally true. It's on stream. On stream. <laughs> yeah, it's recorded now. It's out on the internet, so it's tr definitely true uh yeah no it's 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 real um i'm a pure innocent boy uh all uh there's gonna be a calling time at uh 8 30 eastern 5 30 pacific august 4th friday this friday coming up there's gonna be a calling time so if you are on the primal data center and you're on behemoth uh and you want to pvp and get a chance to see some uh be on the internets and be famous with the square enix uh community rep team uh, go do a thing Go get there. Maybe I'll we'll just bring like grand company themed pocket watches. Yeah, I'll transfer my guy over there, do some PvP, and then transfer back. <laughs> we're we're on or we're on primal. I know. Oh wait, yeah, I still have to get the behemoth though. No, PvP server. 
Oh, wait, I can just queue. I'm just going to fucking get over there. I'm just going to get in there. And fucking whack. It's whack good luck transferring to Behemoth. Yeah, I'm just going to get in there and fucking drop my salted earth. Oh. <laughs> it's not sexual if you make it sexual, all right? <laughs> if you make it sexual... I wasn't even going... I'm talking to the... I know you were, but the audience. <laughs> Paul. <laughs> there goes your whole innocent thing. I was thinking what? salt, like... No, I'm still pure and innocent. I'm just, I'm accusing them of, like, I don't want them to think na naughty thoughts. My mind never even went that direction, so... I, well... Who's the more innocent one here? I didn't, listen, I'm just preparing. I get... <laughs> We're both fucked. I don't know what's going <laughs> Welcome to Millstrom Radio. We also have a little bit of community news. If you haven't been paying attention uh, to uh, to our Twitter accounts or to our Twitch or to pretty much anything for the past week, uh, we did get our icons approved. We now have three. We have Johnny Falcon. We have uh, Toad Rogue and uh, Flatus Spud. Moogle Spud? Yeah, Great King Moogle Spud, which has got my face on it because that's how we described me as that's a primal. I guess. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, big show. primal. Uh, so, uh, I'm going to add a rolling, um, the Maelstrom bot, uh, starting, I'll work on that Tuesday. So starting Wednesday, you'll start seeing uh, a link to Meech, uh, our, and once we get like all the like new art for our channel and we'll have links to all of our people that, uh, do stuff for us, uh, Meech, uh, you can go to MeechArt.net and, uh, check out his art. You can buy stuff from his store. He took the time and drew those for us, uh, uh, and, we wanted to pay him. Don't think that like Shin and I are very much for the paying of artists for their their time and, and effort. Um, but Meech is a friend of mine, and he did that for free. Um, so please, you know, go go see his stuff. Spread the word. Meech is an amazing artist. You can follow Meech Art on Twitter. You can follow Meech on Twitter if you want to follow a guy that's beardy and from uh, from up in Baston. Uh, Meech is a really cool dude. Uh, his art is really interesting. Um, you can even see. I'll I'll see if I can find it again. I I, sh I shared it with Shin um, when I was talking to him. But he did this. He was paid to do a mural about video games, and it's really cool. Like it's like got Zelda, Mario, Mega Man. It's awesome it's, art. It's it's really he's phenomenal. So the fact that he's doing our our uh, our stuff for us is pretty pretty fucking awesome. So, uh, <clears throat> not, I don't think many, many podcasts can, can get an, an, our true artist to come and do their stuff for them. But when we do, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna whore the hell out of Meech for it. <laughs> so thanks Meech. I appreciate it. So MeechArt.net, uh, if you're listening to this, you want to go buy something. He even takes commissions for like tattoo arts. Like, like people, like people want his drawings on their body. So if you want, if you think you have an original design, he'll work with you. If, especially if you want to get a tattoo, he'll draw it out so that you can get it tattooed on you. Um, so that is something that he does supply. He's really down to earth, a great guy. He will ask, he constantly, like, I wasn't paying, like I said, like I wanted to pay him. How much he, how much he pay? How much does he get paid or how much did we pay him or how much does he charge? <laughs> there's a lot of, there's a lot there. <laughs> Um, I believe everything's by, you can ask him pricing at me chart, just follow him and then ask him how much he would charge for commissions. I think it depends on sides. It's all digital art. Um, so yeah, I can't, I don't want to speak for him cause it may be based on, it's, ba it's always based on like the amount of time he puts into it. So our, our, our things were little, so God speak Irish, God speak Irish. I don't, I can't, <laughs> I tried, I <laughs> can't do it. Um, also, uh, lately, you know, I didn't, we, we had, uh, we had, uh, two mellow on last week, which if you didn't listen to that show, go listen to that show. It's probably going to be better than this. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Uh, but if you did listen to that one, awesome because it was uh great having Mello on and just so you know Mello and i've been now Mello has added me as a friend on duolingo so you know friendships are happening <laughs> i'm getting popular with the cool kids <laughs> later nerds no. 
no, he's a nerd too. So it's, it's not, it's not happening. Uh, no, but uh, Melo and I uh, had a discussion about uh, like uh, just, just it was just something interesting. Uh, I thought I'd share with everybody. So just so you know that uh, we we took very th- different things, but uh, the 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 idea of patience coming up. So being patient with somebody about ideas and everything. Um, <clears throat> so. I, I share with him the same thing I'll share with everybody. I think everybody should kind of, I don't know, maybe I'm not great at giving advice, but maybe if you wanted to hear this, you should. But uh, if you are patient with somebody, if you believe in an idea, you fight for it, whatever it is. If it's us with Maelstrom Radio, I believe in this. Like, uh, Shin gave me some good advice earlier. I won't necessarily share all that advice, but he did tell me that if if I, sh- I shouldn't let Maelstrom Radio hold me back from doing something for myself, and I would never do that. And he, I, he knows I would never do that. But uh, I do mostly because I do believe in the product that we do here for you. I, but I would if if I felt like I could grow myself out of Maelstrom Radio into something more, I would have to sunset Maelstrom Radio. This is not us saying goodbye, by the way. This is to just just to let you guys know we're not going anywhere. But I do believe in the product. So I do want to talk a little bit about some of the stuff that we will be doing in the future. Um, I'm not going to give you full details on all of it. I just, just, just so you guys know where, where we're going. Why are you looking at me with those bright eyes? Like <laughs> you're about to murder me. <laughs> um, so, you know, uh, Shin's building a computer. Uh, where we're going next in the future. Yes. <laughs> yeah. We're going to the year 3000. <laughs> we figured out time travel. Uh, that's what I did last Friday. So Everyone vote- pizza get knocked into a cryogenic chamber. Yeah. Or, you know, go behind a Burger King and fall into an interdimensional portal. No. Uh, so you guys know our, our, our future episode where we're going to improv stuff. I'm not going to give you a bunch of details. I'm just going to tell you that I'm going to tell you the two parties that are on board for that episode. The Crucible. Nope. You don't want me to tell? You don't want me to say There's who's on board? For- there. Oh, no. I got both. I, I, I got confirmed I on both parties. I know, but I think we should keep it quiet now just so that we can uh, screw I'll get- people for the next little while. We'll, we'll release it before the actual episode. But we'll let people like theorize what we're doing. All right. So you know, so you know, the Crucible's involved. I can't tell you the other party who's involved, but they were probably way more better than us doing the podcast. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. But so you know, shit's gonna go down because the Crucible's involved. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, the Crucible's. But be be forewarned. I'm super excited for that episode i'm so so excited so that is not going to be our 50th episode our 50th episode though will be a us talking about the game us talking about probably us and and the last year and and probably a little bit of reflection but we also want you guys to call in it's going to be the first episode where you guys can call in for to us now we don't have a skype number for you guys to call in so we're going to use discord um but if you want to call in and talk about final fantasy talk about us um we're going to have a couple giveaways we're going to do a maelstrom radio trivia so if you're a huge fan of maelstrom radio and you think you know us I dare you. And don't worry. I'm not an asshole. Like, not like, oh, I didn't win. Like, if the winner is going to get a mount of your choice off the Mog Station, the runner up will get a minion of their choice. So everyone's going to win. Don't worry. You just just come in. And even if you get all of them wrong, you still get something. Just come in. Have fun. Um, the only losers will be on stream. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Uh, I already know that Chili and Paul Metal want to call in so bad. <laughs> already, already they already want to call it. Not for the game show. They just want to call in. So. I don't know if that's quite fair. I may make the Crucible comic. <laughs> just make them call. Um, let get the Crucible and uh, Paul and Chili. And just call in at once. Together and leave the room. <laughs> just, leave it, just leave it running for a half hour. Then come back and then watch everybody unsub from us. What happened? <laughs> uh, so that's going to be episode 50. That's going to be on a weekend. We'll let you guys know all the details because uh, we want to we probably going to go. We usually go for an hour. We'll probably go a little bit longer that episode. So you guys have time to enjoy it. And so we have time to chat with you guys and play the game and do all that fun stuff. Um, <laughs> yeah, look, I'm trying to whore my ass out like chili. <laughs> oh, Paul. Uh, next week, uh, we're going to have a smart episode. <laughs> We're going to talk about smart things, maybe. Well, we're going to look at... I'm, I'm totally talking about next week because this week we're probably just going to kind of kick back and talk about the game. But we're going to... Next week, really, we're going to put down our ideas and how we can improve Final Fantasy XIV. Um, 
I think between Shin and I, the fact that we've played a lot of MMOs and the fact that I played a shit ton of MMOs, um, there's a lot of mechanics, a lot of things uh, in other MMOs that I believe that, and now a lot of this may be putting dev stuff to the side and like, like different development teams and stuff like that, but like these are things we think. So don't worry, that's gonna come up next week. Uh, is there anything else? Yes. I want to give a big shout out to Paul Metal. <laughs> I almost forgot. He's in chat. I want to give a big shout out to Paul Metal uh, in Chile. Uh, I was listening to their show last night and they gave me a big shout out. And actually, they they warmed the, my heart, like even the cockles of my heart, like deep down, the, the, the lower cockles. <laughs> don't laugh. Don't you spit can see your... me drinking. You gotta be careful there. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, so, uh, the reason the why. Cockles. Yeah, the lower cockles. Uh, the reason I'm saying that is that uh, Paul had said on their show, and I don't want to steal your thunder, Paul. I know you said it on your show, but uh, and I and I don't think you know he and he. I know it made the recording because <laughs> you said you didn't say bye till after the fact, so I know it made the recording. Uh, but uh, you you told you told me that uh, you really appreciated what I've been doing on the inter on Twitter lately. That I've been making uh, not only you and Chili laugh, but uh, but I've also been sending out. Um, uh, it, it, good information about uh you know feeling good about yourself and making sure that if you need help you go find the help that you possibly need um and that you know you were feeling really depressed that one day and i was playing dream daddy and that really picked you up and lifted your spirits and so today i i kind of tweeted out that i'm gonna probably rebrand myself from flatus into something else and i don't know what that is yet um, that's going to be a process. That's not going to be like next week. I'm going to be Jai. I'm going to be Jivey Dim. And it's like <laughs> crazy Pete. You know, no, I'm not going <laughs> to. No, uh, that's not that. I may go for that. Do I get royalties? <laughs> I'm going to put on like anime eyes and Desu Desu. <laughs> um, I'm debating whether I want to see this or if I just want to come over and smack you. Uh, you call me, call me, kind of a, a little bit, a little bit of thing. Um, so that uh, I, I, I want to be. It's not that I want to be seen as like a positive force in this community, but I do want to. I don't want the community to have vitriol and hate and and anger and and all that stuff like i know a lot of people out there need help and i believe that people should seek the help they absolutely need um <laughs> uh what, what was my favorite name this week Dadis. like they just <laughs> called me Dadis, and that thanks me out for that name because i use that in game uh flat daddy does not sound good <laughs> not using flat dream daddy flat <laughs> no um so I don't know. I know. I don't know what's happening with that so but i i want to step away from flatus because that name that name is about seven years old and when i when i first created it so you guys know was totally it is a little bit in, in their internet times uh, uh the reason i created that name was so that i could be an asshole on the internet um that name is entitled farce it's it was a for a persona that i'm i don't believe i am anymore i don't i i mean i joke on the show and i and i make jokes and i and i push the limit i skirt the line a lot but that's who i am as a comedian but if you talk to me on the regular if you talk to me just off the show uh not being flattest or being like the the entertainer that i am on the show and that's what we do here we entertain uh and somehow give information i'm not sure um but you may find out that i i uh i'm not always that person like i i'm very much i will tell people to try to do and find themselves and go get the help they need and i i, I want to be helpful for the community and, and push for people to do the right thing and 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 i'm always been a proponent for spreading love through gaming not in a weird way but more of a you know like like us with extra life which we should probably be getting on sometime soon in whatever way is appropriate for the uh, yes situation. yeah make sure it's all consensual <laughs> whatever way you find it just make sure it's consensual um so uh i don't know where that's going yet but it will change and i just don't know when uh so you guys i just want to keep you guys in the loop here like but not nothing will really change no yeah nothing nothing will change with you're me you're still gonna do exactly what you've been doing yes it's just, just the name the name will change the name the names will change um so it's 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 mostly because it's hard to uh get somebody to say wow that guy's really saying a good message 
and his name is a medical term for a fart. So let's let's. It's hard. <laughs> it's really hard to get, like. It's hard to take me seriously when it's like we. If you call me by my name, Peter, that's fine. Like, and I rarely ever tell my name. Listen, don't find me. <laughs> if you find me, I will be like take it in reverse. <laughs> That's fine, and I know how to end you. <laughs> I got a sword back there. It's back there someplace. Don't don't come at me. Uh, does it smell good? What is going on? What is go? I don't know. I'm going to ignore chat. I want to avoid chat. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, chat. I don't know. Uh, so I know you guys are probably like, what what type of show is this tonight? It's rare that I talk about like stuff like this. I'm taking a step back from from me for a second, just letting you know on a personal a meta level. show. It's the met. It is a little bit of a meta show. Uh, that's a great name. We're just called <laughs> episode forty said the meta show. <laughs> um, the meta. Uh, Some people will listen to it because I think we're talking about like Final Fantasy fourteen meta. No, no, it's no. Show it's meta. Just meta. Then they're going to get into this and be terribly upset. Um, I don't. I'm not reading that. I'm not reading that. That has so many connotations. I'm not reading that. <laughs> because <laughs> i'm not reading what you said before or after <laughs> and uh i know don't wave me on look at that <laughs> no no no. i'm saying uh, we, we keep going keep going yeah so uh you know and 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 as of late like even with what i've said on the internet uh even with uh like suicide prevention uh depression and and finding the help you need for that uh i i've helped um Shin realized that he and and I don't think I'm stepping outside of a line here. If I am, tell me I won't say anything. But uh, no, Shin is Sh, uh, Shin is now going to go find uh, the help he needs and 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 seek and get. I mean, it's because you don't want to bottle things up and you don't want to you don't, like I I I I, I, I don't want to sound like an a, I'm gonna try not to sound like an asshole or a dick to anyone and uh but get like seek the help you need. Absolutely seek the help you need. Um, I uh. I was in a bad spot. I didn't load the show. I didn't do like I didn't want to do the show. I almost told Shin like I'm, I'm out. Like I'm out, and I didn't like I didn't want to stream. I didn't want to do any of the things that I love doing, um, and I love doing the show. I love gaming. I love like I couldn't even bring myself to log into the game, let alone do anything else. Like all I wanted to do was sit in bed, and then it got bad. Like it got really bad for me. Like to a point where I was like, well. If I didn't wake up tomorrow, it wouldn't be so terrible, right? <laughs> and uh, I do a lot of self-deprecating humor, and I, I chose a better path. I knew that the better path was for me to call somebody and say, hey, I just need to talk, and I needed to get stuff off my chest, and I needed to talk to somebody, and to not get to that point. And uh, if there's any message that I'm trying to send today is that uh, be the person who you, be the best person that you can be. Get the help that you absolutely need. Um, there are people out there that are always willing to talk to you always willing to talk and i know people are scared to open up I, I paul said but people are scared to open up or even seek help yes and i get that i absolutely get that and if if you are that person and you're scared to talk to somebody come talk to me find me on twitter dm my ass i do not care i will talk to you even if you just want to make a friend just someone that you need just to be like hey can i just come on fanfrit and hang out with you guys and just game if that's what you need by all means Come find me. Come talk to me. It's it's so much more important that you find somebody and find your people and hang out and and even if it, if that little thing helps you get through your day, do it. Absolutely do it. And so that's why one of the reasons that I'm changing stepping away from my name. It's a lot. Of, it has a lot to do with that. Um. So. Uh, it's Scarlet in chat. That's a message I could stand up for. It's not easy, but having friends to work out bad shit can mean everything. Yeah, it absolutely can. Uh, I mean, I've talked to Shin a lot, uh, a lot with over the last few weeks and, and Shin in reverse is also, you know, he hasn't gone into depth. I don't like it again. I'm not trying to like bust out our personal lives on, on the show, but, um, it is good, uh, because sometimes you don't know where to start and, Sometimes you just need a friend that says like, bro, just, just, st it's, it's not about where or how to start. It's just starting. Um, and I think that, I think that's a big, a big hill is, you know, a lot of people say, uh, I don't have a problem or they don't want to deal with the problem, but it's just, just calling up somebody. And I know it, even if you just sit on the couch the first time and don't talk to them, they will just sit there and ask you simple questions. They won't even ask you about the problems. They'll ask you about 
work or what do you like to do for hobby? They will ask you about everything but the problem itself. And sometimes you just need that. You just need interaction with another person. This is a good and important to talk about and bring up. Thank you. I I, I know. And, I, and maybe a lot of shows didn't want to talk about it. And I'm not that guy. I'm not those hosts. I am not those shows. Um, and I'm sorry that this is, hasn't been about Final Fantasy XIV <laughs> um, in well, the last half hour. Not that I want to derail this because I, I really want to keep on this topic. But I think it also is important and does relate back to Final Fantasy and gaming in general. Like... And not even necessarily gaming, but the population in general, like there's, even if you're not necessarily going through something or trying to work through something, it doesn't hurt to go have people to talk to, whether that's close friends or family or uh, professional, like it's something that a lot of people could probably get some benefit for, from whether you're gaming. And, and I, I know this from just from meeting a lot or from seeing a lot of people playing MMOs in particular, but like. It would be really, it's something that I've found, especially in this community, it's been very, very open, very, very forgiving, very welcoming that you don't see in a lot of games. And I think a lot of games would benefit from having the sort of community and outreach. Yeah, absolutely. Um, And you you know, like on our show, like 95% of the time, Shin and I are just here making jokes and, and we shit talk. Yeah, we do. We should talk a lot. And but we also I mean, we also try to point out the obvious with the game. But uh, but we're not a take take us out of our element for a second. And Shin and I are very, you know, we're two intelligent men who sit down and, and talk about gaming. But we also want to make sure that, you know, everyone that listens to the show, everybody that shows up to chat, all of our supporters, everybody in the FC, everybody across this fucking game at any game you play, if it's World of Warcraft, Guild Wars 2, Rift, it, if it's just you're logging into uh, online games, if you're playing League of Legends, I mean, it, it, anybody that comes across this and listens to this, it, just just know that there's somebody out there and they're willing to help you and it's it's i know it's it's going to seem hard but like a lot of us are introverts and a lot of us don't go it's hard for us to go and and uh and talk to people like at work about like and, and you may not you may maybe you like football and and sports and it's easy for you to get to, uh, get along with people at work but sometimes it's not that way um uh you know when i did uh evercast and loot table tanlin was the same way and and tanlin will tell you if you ever you know who tanlin is she should know tanlin who's my former co-host um Tanlin's he great. uh he 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 watches football but outside of that he has nothing in common with the people at work and he will tell you that like i really don't talk to them at work because i feel like i have nothing in common with them outside of this one thing that i like which is football um so you know I, and I, I really do mean it. Like, if you hear this and you think you don't have anybody to talk to you, you can email us at show at maelstromradio.com. You can send us uh, DMs at, you can find it, me at, F, uh, at Flattis <laughs> uh, for right now. Uh, and then you can also, you can DM the show at uh, maelstrom underscore radio um, if you need to talk to one of us. Uh, and, and like I said, if you just want to come and, and just join the FC or if you just want to, if you even want to just come on our Discord and find us and chat with us there. By all means, you're welcome. It is sometimes there's shit posting, sometimes there's jokes, <laughs> sometimes I'm just making fun of other people in the FC. So there's a lot of that. <laughs> um, yeah, usually. Uh, so uh, the message being, uh, you know, it, life is hard, and I get that, and uh, don't be afraid. Just don't be afraid, uh, and just be the best person that you can be. It's, you know, li- I know life is rough, and and people are shitty. <laughs> um but don't bottle it up like don't don't hold that onto the anger or the pain because in the end it's it's not worth it it's uh it's better to get it out uh, norm- normally i try to stay jovial and uh pretty <laughs> pretty smiley and happy most of the time and i try to joke a lot on twitter um but you know when i do need to make a message or send a message out i i do i forget that sometimes this is my platform to do that and i will use that this platform to do as much good as i possibly can um and eventually talk about the game but uh <laughs> the meta show real <laughs> real talk uh you break down man keeping it all in just let it out <laughs> um so 
it's it really is hard like i've had friends uh you know that didn't make that call and that sucks so just we and we and i'm not saying i'm not the only person but we've all we've all had friends that um or we know somebody family friend you know it's it happens it it sucks it's not always a celebrity sometimes it's closer to home and uh you know i don't I don't want to be, I never, you know, I grew up in the punk scene here in Florida. I grew up in that metal scene. Um, I was always the outcast, <laughs> uh, the black sheep of the family, so to speak. Um, I'm the one that's we are like, my family doesn't get like computers. I build this shit. Like they don't get it. They don't understand it. They have no idea. What, like they kind of understand that I do a radio show, but they don't grasp the concept of what I do. Um, so it's, uh, you know, it's it's pretty it's pretty nice to have this community and Shin and all the other podcasts and and going to Fan Fest and most likely we'll be at Fan Fest next year, uh, <laughs> um, to talk to and you guys are all awesome and this community is fantastic and you are really accepting and not to say that the WoW community isn't as accepting you guys are just as accepting over there I know we have some people that play Warcraft two as well and. You guys are just accepting. Trust me. I know a lot of people talk shit about World of Warcraft. If you're a Final Fantasy fan and you've never played World of Warcraft or ever seen that community, it's just as loving. It's just bigger. It's just still. It's just a game, and people just converge and play it. Like any big city, you need to know certain areas to avoid if you want to not yeah. encounter certain things. Yeah, just Goldshire and a Moonguard. Nobody go there. <laughs> we took Shin there once. He was hit on. You were hit on. I think that was one of you. No. Wait, what? The whole group of us went. I don't remember any specifics about it, but yeah. I, was it Carrie? We knew what we were getting into. Well, was Car- did Carrie get hit on? Someone got hit on. Someone did. It I wasn't me. Cody was in there with us too. Somebody got hit on. I'm just saying. Uh, is there a gold chart? You know what? Nobody tell me. <laughs> If it's gonna be, it's probably on Balmung, and that's all I need to know. That's all I need to. I know. Balmung. I saw some no. interesting screenshots of Balmung earlier today. Did you? I, on Reddit. Well, listen, that place is an enigma. If I can get a character on that fucking page, I want to so bad. I need to know. I need to know what's going down. And no, it's like it's like a it's like a sixty minutes. <laughs> like I need to get into the undercover story of Balmung. Oh, can we make that no. YouTube video like the 60 minutes video of me going into Balmung and doing like a 60 minute article interviewing people? I don't know. I think it's more of one of those things of can you last 60 minutes? I don't know. I don't know. How, like our peers in chat. Know, like, Balmung would, may only last like 60 seconds. Uh, ugh. <laughs> I just get. I just get there. I'm like, why is it all sticky? Everything's sticky. And we're out. Yeah, and we're back to Maelstrom, right? <laughs> oh, you wouldn't believe the wonders of one finds in Balmung. I am sure. I am sure. Uh, I can last it. <laughs> Paul. Oh, no, Paul. No! No, that depends on what travel restrictions. All right, well, we have, like, I don't know, 22 minutes. We should talk a little bit. So, all right. So, final... Fa- all right, so... And you know what? Why we have, like, the, the attention of the audience. Let me... I guess I should grab them. All right, so before... All right, let me... Let me, like... Let me not make that... Sh- be careful grabbing the audience. I'm not gonna physically grab them. Don't worry. Like mentally, <laughs> like like a mind lock. <laughs> like oh, by the way, if I I I will tell you this. I will tell you this, this right now. If I make my goal weight before Fan Fest and I I look good, <laughs> just saying, I I look fabulous, which I'm pretty sure I will. Oh, before when? Fan uh next year I'll be making no, my no, no, no. Like, when you make your goal, not if. Uh, Oh, I, I see what you're saying. Yes, when I make my goal, because it's a more of a positive stamp. Uh, uh, so the first day, I've, I've already thought about this. First day of FanFest, you'll find me, because I'll have the beard. Second day of FanFest, if I make that goal, this bitch is coming off. <laughs> like, you may see, you may see baby face. Fa- now, here's the thing. You may not know me. <laughs> you may not if, recognize this. If it's in Vegas again, you might want to shave it off before you go down to Vegas. Because when I was in Vegas the first time for SOE Live a couple years ago, I did have a little bit of a beard. It was hot. It was gone within the day. I had my beard last time. 
yeah. <laughs> Scarlet's like, yes. Uh, so, uh, but don't, I, listen, I'm not going to just like shave this thing off or like with a Bic razor. That's not happening. That's crazy as fuck. Uh, I will find a barber shop that actually does, be like I I do now, like I get edges and cleaned up here. Um, so I will find, even, if, even if I have to go to like one of the, like, even it's like a $60 shave and a haircut. I will I will run in there and get that done. Um, I may have sideburns because I I do like sideburns because I'm like a '70s rocker, I guess. Yeah. Uh, so and then you have to cut this guy like, where's Waldo? Find me. <laughs> but I'll tell you this: under this beard, I look it's so much younger. I'm not lying. I really do look a lot younger under this beard. Uh, so I look older now. But when you find me, you'll be like, who's that baby I'm talking to Shen? It me i'm the baby i have connections but you could oh dude seriously we'll hook it up we'll, we'll talk got that baby i so do have a baby, be the baby and i'm not the mama so yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be like got that baby. i do uh wait so if you're the baby does that make you like uh what's her face little brand's mom the frying pan wait say that again who's mom Hildebrand. Oh, you got the frying pan. Mm. Yes. God, God, back. To, go back to Twitter. Got baby Sinclair. <laughs> what is going on in chat now? <laughs> got That's that baby. Julian. Yes, Ju Julian. Thank you, Scarlet. Yeah, Julian. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, it's. It looks. I listen. If I can, if I could just get a five. Listen, if they could shave me down just to like the five o'clock shadow that I like, so I could look like a the Cuban man that I am. Or the Italian guy that I'm half and half, like, like I'm I'm half espresso, half Cuban coffee. I don't know what that means, ladies. <laughs> I don't know. Well, anyway, let's let me talk a little. We should talk a little bit about Final Fantasy. Uh, so uh, next week we're gonna discuss um the uh how to make final fantasy started. i know right <laughs> uh next week we are going to discuss how to make final fantasy better because lately on our fc and I, if you're on our fc you may have noticed this too uh not that i want to point it out but uh i do i do take you know i look at things i watch things um i do notice that there have not been people a lot of people logging on and i'm not sure if that's just a sentiment on our as it, it could be our server it could be the people who joined our fc they're just not motivated to play the game maybe they went back to a different game I see some folks that are playing and then hopping back to the World of Warcraft, and that's understandable. Uh, World of Warcraft 7.3 is adding a whole new planet, Argus, like they're like whole all new zones. Like that's listen, that's crazy shit to me. Like I like I played WoW for 12 years and I'm all like, oh yeah, we're going to another planet in a patch. I'm like, wait, wait, what? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I like yeah, yeah, there's Fortnite. There's a bunch of stuff that I I know, and it's Shin said, you know, we could chalk it up to the summer. But what what do you guys think? I mean. Some people have told me like, "Hey, this just just feels like Heaven's Word 3.6," and there wasn't a lot. At Go ahead. I was gonna say there wasn't a lot added outside of story and the new dungeons and and the co-op. Like, it feels the same. Like to me, it does. Like, and and I sh I feel like there should have been something besides the raid. Like I was like, I know the raids new and the dungeons are new, but like there should have been something new. Like to to really grab like I I feel like they they could have dropped a dungeon and said hey we added this new piece of content at launch, but I could be know, wrong. Do you know what I think? I think people should send us these their thoughts and stuff through like our email and Twitter, and then that way we can actually like take their thoughts and bring it on the show next week. We can do that. I know, and uh, listen, guys. I know new stuff's coming in four point one. Um. And I've said it. We'll talk about that. I was definitely. I want to talk about that, but I think we should talk about that next week. Isn't right? Eureka coming next week in four point one? Yeah. No. Wait. Is it? They haven't really announced. So wait. There's gonna be another live letter between now and the four point one. But yeah. But when's four point one coming out? Like, if we got a month or we should definitely. It's it's about three months after launch, so we still have like Ooh. a good month and a half, two months. Ooh. <laughs> I listen I to guys. It's like October. It's October. All right. That would I listen. be my guess. All right. Listen. I'll listen, guys. <laughs> All right. The next week we're really gonna talk about because I have I do have some thoughts that like like Final Fantasy could implement that is really easy. Like these are I'm, I'm telling you, there's gonna you're gonna be things you're gonna be like guys. Why aren't we? Why don't we have this? 
Please remember 3.1 was late because they went on holiday. I dude, if they went on holiday, <laughs> uh my heart. It's been six weeks. I know it's been six weeks. I know, but I've done all the content other than EX, and I can go do EX. I can go do that. We can go do that. I can go pug it and get it done. <laughs> I'll get it done. I'm just saying. But do you have your glamour sorted out? Don't, don't with me with that. <laughs> don't do that. Half, half. Unless I go run the violent tide, uh, shui shui, shui shui of the violent tide, and go get that armor set. Have you seen that set? Everyone, everyone set in there is ungodly sexy. Remember the last time that I logged in? No, um, no I've not seen that set. <laughs> yeah. That, <laughs> <laughs> you know you want you know you want to fight new I, I do want to fight new so it's it's not how do i explain it it's it's not the con like don't get me wrong it's not i'm trying I'm, i don't want to say that the content's bad it's just that it's there's something missing um and when i think expansion and i know there's new stuff coming in in a patch but when i think expansion i should have felt like there was something more past a dungeon and like Ixion and the Fox uh, Fates, I did Ixion for the first time. I didn't get credit. I killed it. I was there and I was in a party and I didn't get credit. And I, I almost, I almost walked away from my computer and weeped. <laughs> I didn't. Get, everyone's getting the achievements and I'm looking. I'm like looking for the horn and I'm like I didn't get shit. <laughs> I didn't get the achievement. I was like, God damn it. Uh, and R Paul may be right. Maybe the the content's just easy. Uh. Uh, sorry for the short visit, but EX farm time gets, I mean, maybe there's, I, and, uh, let's see, Vladimir in chat said, uh, I'm, I'm, I think having some organized group events would help. Absolutely. Like, I don't think any of these are bad ideas. I'm just saying there's some, there is something missing. Like, I don't know what, like, we, all right. For example, like when I was in Legion, like Shin and I said, yeah, there's a lot of good, there's a lot of good tech behind World of Warcraft and the but but they also added stuff like in like these little patches like that weren't even like bit major patches but like these little tidbits where they added like oh here's this cool mount you can get that's a world thing that you can go find and like click on all the books and it was like this big thing that summoned a boss and everybody had to work on the server together to make that happen um or the new worm mount that's like this race across the the world to get this mount um, and that's stu little things like th that's the kind of stuff that I'm talking about. And I, I want to dig more into this next week. I, I know all of you are writing stuff in chat. Please send us email show at maelstromradio.com. DM us or send us stuff on Twitter. We'll grab it all. If you're on our um, on our discord, leave it in there. Write us in there. We'll, we'll we'll pick them up and throw them into our show our show stuff. We want we, we know you guys have opinions and I maybe sh we could pull like, some of these out. I think 4.0 is the first one of the X-Pack. It might get better. I know. But I'm saying it, it's weird to me to jump into an expansion um, and six weeks later be, man, I when I look at my FC and there's like people not just completely checked out. And that worries me. Like I, I'm saying as a player and an FC leader, that worries me. And uh, it's hard. Like I can go. I'm, and, I mean, I, I still try to farm, like get people to join us, but it's hard. And, like especially hard now before the expansion. It's great. People are hopping in and they want to join and they want to play. But then when there's lack of content lack of interest uh the like uh, i have a friend who, uh, that well shin and i both have a friend that's in our fc that's uh said that you know like you know there's no interest in the x raid because there isn't just like there's nothing to it like there's not meat to it other than just go in and do the bosses and get out um and that's something i've talked about like i know we we talk about that time thing where you can go in and just go do the boss and get out go do the boss and get out which is a t like I you know I only have so much time to raid I can only do two bosses a night, um, I get it like but I can kind of see that other point where you're flipping like where you get like that meat and you want to chunk and you want to chew and you want to go through trash mobs and explore this big area and instead it's just like these that hey, I, I don't, I'm just getting into it I don't want to get into it guys I'm, I'm telling you like I'm not trying to get us out of here but I'm just saying as a raider I could take for I could take for days uh as a raider I could talk for days uh and you can get your chance on f f episode 50 you want to talk about we'll talk about whatever you guys want. <laughs> um yeah but next week we really want to do list 
things that we can improve on. Um, not only rating, we want to like look at the world content. Um, and and there's stuff that EverQuest 2 did when I played EverQuest 2 that was really cool. There's collectibles across the world. There was tons and tons of stuff in that game to do. I know, and Shin can like I know <laughs> I know why are you laughing. Go ahead, say say it. I don't know. I want to get into the whole. We have a whole thing about achievements and collectibles and community and guilds and yes let's not get into that one <laughs> yeah i mean there's a bunch of stuff like um that i think that older mmos did really well and i know that a lot of people are like well older mmos aren't the new thing because we need people don't have enough time or they're trying to but you want your players invested and i and i trust me i want that new content to be oh by the way chili chili bye chili i sorry i didn't say bye i'm an asshole i saw you thanks for stopping by chili um but i uh i do want that content to be good and i said that it needs to be for the end game players like the people that are at level 70 you can't make it for the um one th the level 15 through 60 crowd because people are if people can jump levels you need to focus that content towards us and uh don't god i really hope I, re I mean pvp sure i i'm good with that new pvp modes i know they're going to start doing the rotation of uh, maps which is good that's good stuff that's stuff that i want to hear for pvp i want to see new game types for pvp we'll jump into all of it um but we that's just gonna be next week i think really mostly this episode was to talk about um more of like I think, you know, with us and, and us wanting, you know, everyone out there to make sure that they're getting the help that they need and uh, that, you know, we, we love this community and uh, it's been it's been so good to us that we if we, we could help you guys in any way, we will. Like I have it still on the board that Sina's parents uh, need absolutely need to help with their their legal bills and their and, and if you can donate. Cool. If you can spread the word, do that, too, because that helps. Um, so if you're in chat, if you have Twitter, you know, spread that and get that, uh, get that going. Um, uh, I do, I even, I donated some money to that because, you know, every little bit helps. <laughs> uh, so, you know, it's, it's what I can do. I mean, I, I may not have, uh, listen, I may not be a millionaire. If I hit the lotto, it's gonna be, it's gonna be game on. <laughs> it's be, listen, I'm getting a compound. <laughs> it's gonna be gamer city in that piece. <laughs> I listen, I'm getting a compound where Google Fiber is. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. Like, if I can have 700 up, 800. Ah, uh, upload all the things. Just saying, Canada is a nice country. We don't have hey. Google Fiber, but we have pretty decent internet in places. I know, I saw. I saw the job posting you put me. And it was like, it looked, it was like, oh, Montreal, Canada. Did not even notice. Well, I kind of it, half noticed it, but it, yeah, because I forgot Ubisoft is uh, in Montreal. So yeah, they're based in Montreal. A comp yeah, it's a compound. It's gonna be. I'm gonna buy a small town. They, you know how, dude? I found a town. I'm like, real quick, guys. <laughs> listen, do you know? I don't know. Listen, maybe we don't have to win the lottery. Like, listen, if all of our listeners get together, listen, all we need is like maybe. I saw a town we could buy. <laughs> right? We can buy a town. <laughs> If the town's up for sale, it probably doesn't have Google Fiber. No, it's fine. We'll get we'll get high speed in that bitch. It's fine. We'll get it going. We'll get it going. <laughs> but it's a small town. <laughs> and we'll buy it and we'll run it. <laughs> Great. Shin will be my financial advisor and I'll be mayor. No. Have you seen MMO economies? There's just yes. gonna be that one guy that buys all of something and jacks up the prices and everyone else will be too poor to buy it we just kick him out of town <laughs> i'm the mayor <laughs> i can write that we need people who are really good at like sim uh -huh. city and resource management games sure or like civ you know that have you ever seen that guy on twitch <laughs> So off topic. You ever see that guy on Twitch that all he does is play Civ, Civ, Civ and smokes a cigarette? It's all right. Listen, there's this guy on Twitch. <laughs> this guy on Twitch. All he does is play Civ and smokes a cigarette, and he just says expletives and just cusses and doesn't talk for like some hours. And there are hundreds of people watching him, <laughs> and I watch him, and I'm fascinated by this man. <laughs> I don't even want. Like, I know it's like the personality, but I'm like, I may start cigarette smoking and playing Civ for hours. That's <laughs> 
Will will the town be called Flatus? Uh, it'll probably be called uh, uh, Super Mega Ultra Foxy Hot. <laughs> no. Uh, that's too hard to say when you say, hey, where are you from? No, but I have told someone that they're Super Mega Ultra Foxy Hot. So that's a special person. Uh, start sm- Don't start smoking. I don't. I quit smoking years ago. Cold turkey. I could do that. Psh. How could I <laughs> smoke? Also, do you do? don't call the town that. What? Yeah. yeah. Quit smoking? I think the town was no. called Hell. No, I, I want to say the town was called Hell. <laughs> I'm not kidding. That, that's viable. Mm-hmm. Or Satan. Something like that. Something of the, that nature. It's been one month for me. Yeah, dude. Good Good for you. Uh, <laughs> I'm not... Um, like, don't take that as a bad... Like, no, seriously. Good for you. Like, that's your health. I, I think you're vaping. I may have heard vaping on your show, and I could be wrong. I don't think I'm wrong. I don't think I am. Uh, so uh, we got nothing else. I really don't think we have anything else. So, um, sh- no, God, there's a hell in Michigan. Dear God. Uh, Shin, <laughs> Shin, do you have anything left for tonight? I got nothing after this episode. I got nothing either. But it was, I think it was a good episode all in all. No? Jury's out? It was a decent episode. It was a completely off-topic episode. It was. It, uh, it did cover good topics. Something I think we should covered listen. important topics. We did. Um, I think. I think as of the news late. Um, you know, I don't, and I, I never get political on the show, nor am I ever going to start getting political on the show. I, I don't think we this this show is that sort of soapbox for that nonsense. Um, but. Uh, you know, uh, despite everything that has happened on the internet and in the world, I think that if I was going to leave you with anything is that be loving and understanding to everybody you meet. Uh, you don't know what the other person is going through, what challenges they face and what the, how the rest of the world views them and, and treats them. Um, you know, I, uh, I played, uh, and I know, uh, Paul said I was playing dream day. He asked me when I'm playing dream daddy again, I told him probably this Sunday, uh, I have been, I have streamed dream daddy. If you've not seen that gameplay, I'll probably stream it again with, uh, and try to date another dad. Uh, but the, that game is fantastic and truly touching and it's got a great message and it's, um, did I, <laughs> and, uh, the message being that, uh, you know, this great message with a, a single parent, which a lot, you know, I was raised a little bit by my mom on her own and that touched me and, and the, you know, and the, the, the main character who I played was, uh, an introvert and didn't like meeting people and, 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 and explained at one point, he's like, I, I don't feel like I'm an introvert or an extra, uh, I don't feel like I'm an introvert or an extrovert. I just don't feel like I really fit in either. So, and that, that's me to a T. Like, I don't feel like I'm an introvert or an extrovert because I, if you saw me at FanFest, I, I'm very much, t- I'm talkative. You get me into a group. People come up to me and talk to me randomly. Um, if you were one of the people that that's met true. me at. It it really did like people that even do podcasts like I was just standing in line people just were like hey what are you I'm like oh okay <laughs> I don't know if I got one of those faces I don't know <laughs> it would be interesting to see what happens if you shave off the beard and then nobody talks to me anymore <laughs> there's no one talks it's the beard it probably is they're like he's like a big old huggy bear like <laughs> um did you uh Scarlet wants to know did I ever get managed to get blocked by Trump I tried really hard so you guys. Now, now, if you listen, to, I don't listen. I don't care if you support the president. Don't support the president. I don't like that's that. What your opinion is is your opinion. I do not care. What my opinion is is my opinion, and you shouldn't care either. But did I try to get blocked by the president the other day? I sure as hell tried. <laughs> Didn't happen, and I called him some bad words that I will not repeat on this show. I will not repeat on this Thank show. You. Yeah, I will not. Um, there are they are definitely in the top seven things you shouldn't say on television. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> um so if you needed to know they were they were really bad things uh but uh so just i'm leaving you with that just please just be respectful to anybody try not to fight with anybody on the internet just to take the higher road if you can't walk away from the situation shit posting's fine just don't attack anybody um and you know <laughs> Uh, so what my podcast is built on nice. I don't know Paul, when I see you both, you're going to get a big green hug. I don't know what that means. That sounds, that could be dangerous. <laughs> um, 
So it, honestly, that is that is the message I'm trying to send out today. And I know we've been way off topic. This hasn't been entirely Final Fantasy 14 related. Uh, I promise you next episode will be back on track with Final Fantasy 14 and Shinter and I will try to crack down on and try to try to. And I say this with bunny in quotation marks, like fix this game. We don't think it's broken. We just think there there could be improvements and improve the game, improve the game. And uh, so I want to thank you all. And if you're out there and you're still listening, we appreciate the support. And if you're still following us, we appreciate the support. And if you sub to us, we appreciate that support. Um, you can find us. Uh, you, I want, uh, and so you guys know we're Twitch affiliated. If you want to, and I, you know, if you've ever asked, like, I want to support you guys, how do I do that? We don't have a Patreon. We don't feel like we've earned that yet. Um, we don't have any, I may set up an Amazon thing link or referral link where if you guys like buy stuff on Amazon, it gives us a kickback. I may set that up so that it's. If you want to, if you can't do, if you don't have Twitch Prime, but you do shop a lot online and you want to support us that way, I'm probably going to set that up and then have you, and you say, if you save it as your Amazon link and you buy stuff through that link, it doesn't charge you anything extra to buy stuff off Amazon. All we do is get a little kickback. That's support for us. Um, and we'll start using, a, we don't, we, it's not like we have a lot of funds, but in, in a lot of expenses, but we do want to improve the show and that's going to cost money. And in order to improve this, uh, we're going to need help. <laughs> so, uh, so I'm trying to, I'm trying to do it in the best way possible. I don't want to just say, Hey, give us money. Um, I do want to say, Hey, if you use this link or Hey, if you have Twitch, if you have, uh, Amazon prime and you get that free Twitch sub and you want to spend it on somebody we're an option i'm not saying you have to choose us but you get some you get you get a dope johnny falcon emote <laughs> which i've seen in chat use this this tonight so uh using it today. you do it's pretty good it's pretty solid i do like the one little claw up like he's like yeah yeah um it's making a little fist with his his, his talons uh so uh so yes if that's if you want to support us that's the way to do it right now is through the twitch affiliate if like i said if you have amazon prime you got a free subscribe anyway just come over here and subscribe now i will say this if you are using the twitch the the twitch prime or i'm sorry the amazon prime uh it is going to kick you out <laughs> of being our sub uh after the month after the month ends so you're gonna have to come if you want to continue to support us you're gonna have to come back and resub to us it sucks i know I we're trying to make it worth it. Like I hope my me streaming extra and stuff like that makes it worth you coming back and giving us that sub. Hopefully, uh, you can find us on iTunes, Google Play Music, uh, uh, Google Play Music, and Stitcher. Uh, on iTunes, guys, it's really super duper important that you guys give us reviews. I know Paul has already given us a review and some star ratings, um, but we need more for it to start showing up. So. Uh, if you do have an iPhone and you do use iTunes, uh, swing over to the uh, the podcast uh, app, click on review. Even if you don't use the podcast app to download us, like, like if you use like Stitcher instead, but still go there, give us a review, give us a star rating, five or anywhere between one and five stars. We 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 won't take offense if you give us one star and say, hey, listen. You guys need to shape up. <laughs> I don't want any more episodes like episode 47, but I hope that episode 47, this one wasn't so bad. Uh, you can find us That's at like Maelstrom Radio. 20 something. Yeah. Uh, you can find us at maelstromradio.com. You can email us at show at maelstromradio.com. So if you have any arguments about us being crazy about the game, just email it. We'll read it next next time. I know you guys have the, I saw them. You guys were lighting it up real quick. So like Scarlet, <laughs> send us an email about, uh, 4.1 or what you think the new content should be or how how would you improve the game right now? I know you're leveling alts, but I mean do you think that alt leveling should be faster? Maybe I don't know tell us uh, Discord is on our our Twitter which is Twitter.com forward slash at maelstrom underscore radio you can find us on facebook.com forward slash maelstrom radio You can find us on twitch which is right here where you're watching us live twitch.tv forward slash maelstrom radio I thought you guys wanted ideas uh, for community and FC. No, we'll take. Uh, so real quick, let me let me just. Yes, show, but yes, yes. Um, you know what though? If you do, if you did send a email about community and FC, that's not too bad. Like if you send it, send it because FC is something we have talked about, and 
if it's something that could be geared like content fixed wise, we'll talk about it. If not, we'll save your email and we'll we'll use it for the, maybe a following episode. Maybe we do an episode two about FCs <laughs> and community, huh? Maybe that's maybe that's the thing for episode forty nine. Uh, love uh, loving leveling alts, but I'm a freak like that. <laughs> um, you're not a freak. You're a beautiful person. And everything. Uh, so uh, for Shinter, my name is Flatus. And uh, Shin, I think it's just peace now. And uh, yeah, you can still hear me. And I'm going to do what. Do one of those. <laughs> Uh, thank you all so much for sitting down and listening to this episode. I know it's such a far off thing from what we normally do, and we try to be funny a lot. And I think, I think with everything that's been on the internet as of late and and the world, um, we wanted to step back for a second and just say uh, we care and we thank all of you out there, and we appreciate this community because without you guys, there is no Maelstrom Radio. And thank you all, because we're just two dummies with microphones. We love you all. And I guess till sea swallows all, keep listening. Maelstrom Radio is a production of maelstromradio.com, Blackfire Media Productions. Final Fantasy XIV and Eorzea are trademarks of Square Enix. Opening theme provided by Benjamin Anthony James. You can find more of their music over at soundcloud.com forward slash ben773. Our outro is provided by Sodo. You can find more of their music over at soundcloud.com forward slash Sodo. Views and opinions expressed on this episode are of those of Maelstrom Radio and their hosts, and do not reflect the views and opinions of Square Enix. And until C swallows all, keep listening.